Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about Taraji P. Henson sobbing on TV, on video, because of Hollywood's pay disparity. She displayed genuine frustration regarding being slighted in the industry. As a regular person, I must say that we can't expect others to know our value. It's up to us to know our worth and claim what is ours. Taraji's video is all over the news and social media. In 2023, a brilliant actress with multitudes of versatile acting roles isn't paid fairly. Currently, her net worth is at or near $8 million. This figure should be $88 million minimum. And to all of Taraji P. Henson's fans, we are familiar with her longevity in Hollywood. She isn't a newcomer to the Hollywood scene. Taraji's start began decades ago in 1992, and some of her first roles in movies were, and shows, were Hustle and Flow with Terrence Howard, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button with Brad Pitt, Baby Boy, The Karate Kid, Think Like a Man 1 and 2, Hidden Figures, Empire, Acrimony, and numerous top quality films, about 30 or more of them. Oftentimes, she works with an A-list cast, and her accolades are a Golden Globe Award, she's been nominated for an Emmy Award, and four Primetime Emmy Awards. And during Taraji's emotional interview, she responded that as an African-American woman, she is consistently working hard because it's a necessity. Since she earns in a range of hundreds of thousands instead of millions for each project, it's mandatory for her to put in the labor. At this point, Taraji stated in quotes, she's tired. Honestly, Taraji feels like quitting acting. She had that feeling of giving up on acting on more than one occasion. And as a woman of integrity, Taraji feels and she tells it all with a breakdown of payment obligations and the tea was piping hot. First off, whenever an actor like herself is paid, the IRS, our government, takes half, a whopping 50% of her earnings. Everyone who is employed can relate to Taraji's testimony because we are all taxed heavily, especially those who are single, childless, have a single child, rent housing without assets or a business to write off items. And while responding, Taraji to the question, she admitted that her team gets 30% of everything earned, the gross salary. So who is a part of her team? I assume Taraji P. Henson's hair and clothing stylists, agents, lawyers, accountants, security guards, managers who basically do the scheduling and everyday regular tasks not completed by celebrities. Maybe she has other employees. And each time when Taraji earns another stellar role and negotiates her contracts, she feels like it's not matching her work ethic. For example, earlier in her career, Taraji requested a payment of $500,000, but she received a measly 100,000, 150 k which was taxed 50%, 30% was by her team, and 30,000 was for her son's tuition. In summer, it's not enough of money for her to live on. And Taraji admitted that she actively budgets and doesn't spend irresponsibly. Still, this phenomenal woman isn't offered a lucrative salary with all of the talent, charisma, versatility, and professionalism she demonstrates. Currently, Taraji doesn't live an outrageously lavish lifestyle. lifestyle. I recall a few months ago listening to The Breakfast Club Taraji mentioned for the first time in her acting career, she took a month-long vacation. I think she visited Bali, or it may have been right around 2020, when everything was just starting to open up. It was Taraji's first time in many years that she took a break from working. <clears throat> from working. I was floored that Taraji thought a break would jeopardize her work opportunities. Everyone when I reflect on a good number of celebrities, actors, singers, rappers, writers, comedians, etc., a large amount of them look wealthy with expensive exterior. 
But the reality is, many of them don't have a secure, affluent lifestyle. Many people live in mansions in Hollywood, expensive lofts and apartments in New York or other states, but they must continually work and provide for their immediate family members. They are dressed in top designer attire that are usually borrowed or given to them. Oftentimes their cars, jewelry, houses are rented. The main point is too many people may demonstrate that lifestyle for a limited amount of time. Financial stability is short term or non-existent, especially for those celebrities who must learn good money management and investing skills. Even though Taraji is extremely talented, she admitted that her earnings is 2% of the amount Brad Pitt is paid. It's a known fact that African-American actresses and actors aren't earning that A-list type of salary. Recently, Terrence Howard, Taraji's co-actor or co-colleague in Empire, filed a lawsuit. It pertains to his low payments while he starred in this superb TV series. Clearly, Terrence Howard says the management agency wasn't advocating fairly for his financial interests. And years ago, actress Monique exposed all of this thievery within the industry. Monique blasted Lee Daniels, Oprah and Tyler Perry too, for asking her to work more, which wasn't defined in her contract. Monique was blackballed for years after this fiasco. And it's more difficult as a woman of color. Money isn't trickling down to them. And Taraji admitted that she receives an annual allowance as an actor. The allowance is a set amount of funds it utilized to pay for housing, bills, leisure time, etc. So why isn't this talented sister earning high caliber pay? Taraji P. Henson boldly said she hasn't received a raise since her movie Proud Mary in 2018. And as we all know, Taraji obtains many projects each year, but millions of dollars aren't offered to her. I know that in our country's current financial state, we all need to create several streams of lucrative passive income. Because Taraji has been working strenuously for two decades, and if I were in her position, I would create more streams of income and obtain um, endorsements. A portion of her earnings can be used to invest wisely in real estate overseas. Countries around the world have real estate that isn't locked into a 30 or 40 year mortgage like the US. Anyone invested in that overseas market can truly own the property and land. Internationally, the residents aren't attaining so much debt and rotations of bills monthly. The American dollar can still go a long way using all cash or even deposits and there aren't property and taxes and capital to gain taxes. Taraji needs to diversify her money instead of it being eaten up with taxes and of course as an American citizen. The IRS will tax anyone if they can link your name and asset to earnings. But she can afford to place her assets in LLCs and additional corporations of business. Tons of celebrities have and are still making money in businesses. Jennifer Lopez owns her own film production company, clothing line, perfume, handbags, etc. Jessica Simpson owns her own clothing, shoes, bags, and accessories. Rihanna owns her own clothing, makeup, lingerie, cologne brands, and baby attire. Beyonce owns 22 Days Nutrition, a vegan meal delivery service and meal planner platform, an athletic clothing and footwear, real estate, and a church. Susan Sarandon has spin a chain of ping pong bars all over the US and Canada. Jessica Alba has an eco-friendly baby chair, um, baby care line with diapers and other resources. Venus and Serena Williams have books, an athletic and casual wear clothing line. And Venus has an interior design firm, which she has owned since 23. Patti LaBelle has several cookbooks, food items in Walmart and other supermarkets. And these are just a few celebrities 
who form creative ways of growing their income and providing them income for a lifetime. A few days ago, I listened to another multi-talented Tony and Grammy Award winning and Golden Globe actor, singer, director, composer, and playwright, Billy Porter. He starred in a Broadway play, Kinky Boots, as Lola. My food nearly fell out of my mouth hearing Billy Porter say his royalty checks for the series, Pose, when he played Pray Tell, earned him little to nothing. Remember, Billy Porter could no longer afford his home in Long Island, New York, with all of his talent. And in July of this year, he, his husband and he were our divorce, Adam Smith, which made his finances difficult. They were married for six years. And one of his cast members from the popular show Pose earns a measly six cents per month. What type of royalties check is that? It's a pauper check. So Taraji P. Henson has a power to turn those flowing tears into flowing finances. Although she isn't earning money that represents her craftsmanship, it's essential for Taraji to know her value. Her current income can be utilized into wise investments, taking the time to educate herself, to study the different business markets and invest will give her lifetime wealth. Taraji must identify herself as a business. Like Jay-Z said, I am a business man. He's a wealthy entity, not just a rapper. He's a powerful business mogul as well as Beyonce. And thank God Taraji spoke up for 